gestures may be helpful, but this is it is a webinar. Um, such help is lacking. After my presentation, I answer questions about the missing part again. You may not be able to hear well with the, the speaker. So chatting will be helpful even if uh, you're conversant. Uh, laser endoscopy is a comprehensive diagnostic tool in otolaryngology and local clinics. It helps to examine or visualize the inside of the laser cavity. And the rhinology has been dramatically improved with the introduction of laser endoscope. Laser endoscopy usually uses zero degrees and sometimes 30 and or 70 degrees as needed. Due to the development of video technology, the standard de definition SD class is now in use and the high definition HD class is now spreading. Recently, it has been introduced up to the 4K level. Nevertheless, there are a few quantitative methods of laser endoscopy in the rhinology area. Laser mucosa state is frequently observed in otolaryngology clinics. Laser mucosa change is one of the vital information to treat. It is known that in AR, allergic rhinitis, the nasal mucosa typically exhibit a pale or swollen appearance. Chronic edema and pale mucosa may occur in patients who have suffered, suffered long-term allergic rhinitis, but this distinguishment is not quantitative diagnostic value. HSV color spaces are alternative representation of the RGB color model. RGB means red, green, blue. Designed in the 1970s by computer graphic researchers to more closely align with the way human vision perceives color making attributes. Colors of each hue are arranged in a radius slice. Saturation consisted of a dimension resembling various tints of brightly colored paint. Value um, mentioned the dimension resembling the mixture of those paint with varying amount of black or white paint. Previously, we studied allergic rhinitis and the result were as follows. When comparing pictures before and after allergic rhinitis treatment of the same patient, it can be seen that the area after the treatment is reduced in uh, saturation and luminous. This analyzes the, the beginning of the final study and the result from using the HSL color space. In the middle photo, you can see how many green dots on the top are barely visible on the bottom here. Various methods are being tried to reduce errors, over exposure, and blood. By my researching, I try to convert color and black and white, and I'm making various attempts for the standardization. We consider the enhancement on the method for improving image quality and many variables that arise arise while obtaining photos. Different color spaces and the histogram equalization. Uh, are found and used for image enhancement. As an example of uh, optical analysis, these are uh, the analyzed digits on the same patient. Either the compared picture when the symptom was 10 and two points, it can be seen that the images that were not well distinguished in the RGB level and analyzed. However, our analysis shows a notable difference as follows. First and 20, this means symptom 10, and the second indicates that symptom 2. Uh, it can be seen that there is a difference also when the same analysis is performed in different patients. These are analyzed that compare subject to symptom. After that, Objective result and analysis were carried out. The coronavirus pandemic 
head spray worldwide, and PCR testing is used for diagnosis. But PCR test is time consuming and high cost. So we find, uh, find the other method for diagnosis. A 29 year old man pregnant with running nose and cough on February 18, 2020. He was diagnosed with SARS CoV 2 infection on February 27. He had contracted the virus at the Shincheon meeting, uh, some kind of uh, a religious gathering on February 16, and he had visited our clinic after the onset of symptoms. He had no history, history of any other illness, uh, was not receiving any medication, and had not visited any hospital with symptoms. His body temperature during the visit to our clinic was 37.1 degrees Celsius. And he had no sinusitis on the ferronizer uh, sinus x ray. We obtained the uh, data endoscopy images during this visit. The aim of this study was performed to investigate the SARS CoV 2 patient optical analysis. Well, moving on now, the result of this study. Six of the People the subjects in this study were clinical normal. Eight had allergy rhinitis, and uh, one had uh, SARS-CoV-2 infection. The multiple allergy stimulation test result confirmed the six normal subjects and uh, eight patients with allergy rhinitis. Optical analysis of the nasal mucosa revealed the difference in color and blood vessel distribution among groups. In the normal group, uh, the surface uh, is uh, smooth and uh, without any roughness and spike, smooth surface. The inferior turbinate was a failure and smoother in patients with allergy linitis uh, than in normal subjects. But the sub surface was similarly uniform. Uh, Compared with the patterning, smoothness is associated with different hue and luminous values. Well, then let's look at the coronal subject, the nasal mucosa of the patient with SARS CoV 2 exhibit a widespread spike and or scratches and was it thus not smooth. The patterns of both inferior turbinate were similar in this patient. The luminous feature. Uh, of HSA both clearly demonstrate these features on shoe analyze. Uh, the general appearance was rougher in a patient with SARS CoV 2 than in normal subject and the patient with allergy rhinitis. The red put uh, intranasal optical analysis showed a similar pattern and uh, it had rough and spiked uh, appearance. Normal subject had a total ID grade of one of multiple allergen stimulation tests and no significant reaction to other antigen. Patient with allergy minus exhibit a total ID grade of, two, of one to three and allergy response to various, various antigens. Uh, our test is macroscopic. It would be useful to investigate whether the virus adheres to the mucosa. However, ethical issue limited our ability to perform this investigation. Non-invasive diagnosis is optimal. We studied only one patient with SARS-CoV-2. Samples from additional patients are required. Recently, I collected and analyzed other patients, and we get the similar similar results. Variation in the area endoscope brightness may be of concern. We normalize the all images in this analysis. The extent of its impure turbinate scratching require further investigation. Using the hue and analysis, the endoscopy may be, uh, may be used for diagnosis with viral diagnosis tool. Uh, we are creating program to uh, Automation. Uh, this this video shown now how the number of pain point uh, 
uh, is automatically calculated by dividing each HS area. Mm. Second, we have de developed a program uh, automatically find the MPL turbinate. There are parts that require the intervention of the doctor, but this process of automatically selective with the necessary area is a way to reduce the hassle of the during my hand. Mm. Uh, this is a previous study by, of my uh, compared to sub symptom. We got the result of the significant difference with the gas sum and the SL sum. So it means uh, color difference and uh, space difference. For the study, would be needed to include three reconstruction, integration, validation, and standardization. The development process is as, uh, as follows. We have made various research attempts and are uh, currently working integration. We look forward to obtain full results and the code of value in the future. We are attempting convergence research in which industry, academia, and research research institute gather to conduct research. I would like to thank researchers who work with me at the previous hospital and or currently participating in this study. Thank you for listening and thank you for opportunity presentation. Thank you. Thank you.